Hello guys, welcome back. This is my second video on Tally ERP9. Last video we learned about how to create company and how to alter its details and how to delete a company. Now in this video section we will uh, see how to create ledger accounts. And before the, uh, before we start how to make ledger accounts, uh, we need to have some transactions with us. All the transactions that we are supposed to uh, put in this Tally software. So for that you need to have some idea about general entries also, the basic general entries. Today what we will do, I will show you some basic, uh, very basic primary general entries that every uh, firm faces or every classroom faces and I will try to show how to create ledger accounts out of it. To create ledger accounts, uh, you have to go to this Tally Gateway, Gateway Tally, already selected is Ramu Kaka Traders Limited that we created last time. So under Masters, we have to go under Accounts Info, under Accounts Info, we have to select Ledgers and press Enter. Now you can see Gateway to Tally Accounts Info, under Ledgers, we have Single Ledgers and Multiple Ledgers. Multiple ledgers we will not do right now because it's a basic class. So we will go to the single ledger and create one by one different ledgers that we need to create. For that I have also kept the accounts ready, I mean the transactions ready. So you can see the first transaction here is started business with CAS. This is a very basic transactions every time you'll see in every questions everywhere. When a person starts a business, he has to put capital. So here, here you can see uh, cash uh, account debit 10,000 to capital. This is a basic general entry. So here you can see there are two accounts. One is cash account and the other is capital account. Cash account and a profit and loss account. These are two accounts that are there in tally by default. You need not create any of these cash account and profit and loss account or PL account we call it. So in the first transactions, we have to create capital account only. So let's go back to our tally. Let's click on create. And there we see an account opening page op opens. Under this page, there are two very important things. That is the name of the account and under which group it goes. Rest are all optional features that you may know, may not know. It doesn't matter. To work efficiently, these first two are supposed to be known by you nicely. So in our first general entry, it was cash account debit to capital account. So we'll create a capital account. Now people wonder like what kind of name we should give. We should give like call it capital account or we should name it Ramukaka account or we should call Ramukaka capital account. Whatever is the choice, you, any way you do, it's correct only. So I'll call it Ramukaka account. Ramukaka capital a slash c i'll call it like that ramu kaka capital account enter then it says which group on the right hand side you can see lots of uh, options are there so it's a capital account so i'll press c and in the blue uh, all the c uh, uh, groups with say starting with c are appears so use your up and down arrow key and select capital account other things are not necessary at this stage if you have you put otherwise just leave it now, once you have put this name of the account and the group under which it belongs, press enter. It'll ask you accept it. Press enter. It'll accept it. Otherwise, you can change it again. So, let me accept it. I press accept and it's created. Let's go back and see. Is it created? No, no. No. Not, no. All right. Let's finish all the other transitions first. Then we'll go back and see uh, under the feature of display all these ledger accounts that we are creating. Let's go to the second transaction that is cash deposited in SBI. SBI is a bank account. Here we are putting money 5000 rupees. So for this general entry is SBI account debit. Or sometimes you can also call it bank account debit to cash account. Bank is increasing so debited and cash is going out so credited. So again in this entry cash is appearing. So cash is not required to be created. Forget about cash. We will only create SBI account or bank account. So let's go back again. Uh, right SB SBI A slash C account. This is under bank. This is under bank, so you can see there are three options. So we we'll choose bank account. Other things like account number, IFS code, bank name, branch. All these things are not required at this stage. If you have, please put it. Accept yes. 
So we have created SBI account also. Let's go to the third transaction. The third transaction is purchase goods. We are buying some trading goods. These goods are bought for selling, not for keeping. So that's why these are put under purchase account. So the entry is purchase account debit to cash. Cash is already prepared by default. So we'll create only purchase account. So let's go back to tally and create a purchase account. I'll write P-U-R-C-H-A-S-E purchase A slash C purchase account. Purchase account goes under purchase account only. Yeah, there we are, purchase account. Uh, it's our type of ledger, not applicable right now. Later on, we'll see what is the other feature about. Others are all optional, except purchase account has been created. Let's go to the next one. After purchase, we have purchase goods from Rohit. This is also a purchase account, but it's on credit. So we have two accounts here, purchase account and Rohit limited account. So purchase account we just created in the previous transaction. So we need not create purchase again, but we had to create Rohit limited account. Let's go back to our R O H I T L T D A slash C account. Rohit limited account. We are purchasing from him. So we and we have not paid him in the cash. So he becomes our sundry creditor S U N D R Y. There we have sundry creditors. I'll accept sundry creditors. Maintain balance by bill by bill. No, I'll not accept right now. Other things are optional. Mm. Yes, accepted. So purchase also done. So we'll go to the next transaction. After purchase from Rohit is done. The next is sold goods on cash. So cash is already prepared. I mean, it's there by default. Now we'll prepare for sales account. Let's prepare a sales account. That's A L E S sales A slash C sales account. Sales account will go under sales only. Not applicable right now. No, no. Accept. Accept. Sales account is also created. Let's see the next. Good sold on cash. This is done. Good sold to Binu on credit. So now we are selling and we are selling on credit. Sales account already prepared. Now Binu traders we have to prepare. Not this one. Sorry. Where is my tally? Here. So I will write Binu. T R A D E R D I what is it D E R S traders A slash C Binu Traders account. This is U N D R Y. This is Sunri Debtors because we sold. Okay. Look at Sunri Debtors. Okay. Take a Sunri Debtors. Fine. No, 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 accept. Yes, accepted. So, Bino Traders also created. Let's look at the next transaction. After Bino Traders, we have paid salary. Salary is an expense, it's an indirect expense. So, salary account David to cash account. Cash account already created. Now we'll create salary account. There you are, tally salary a slash c salary account indirect indirect expenses okay that's not applicable so there we go so we have created almost uh, all the transactions that i have so how many i have i have capital i have the bank account uh, transactions i have purchased two one is cash one is credit i have sales two one is cash, one is credit, and one expense is paid. So I have created seven uh, ledger accounts for seven transactions. So let's go back now and check out how many ledgers we have actually created. And we'll use the this time not the create option, but we'll use this time display option. Let's go back. Let me press yes. Okay. Yes. So you can see there is uh, under single ledger we have create display and alter created already. Let us display D enter these are the all uh, accounts that we just created the cash and pl account is different be no traders purchase account kramu kaka capital account rohit limited account salary sales sbi these we have just created
So now let's go back and alter something. The spelling of Binu sounds different. So let me click on Binu and edit it. Binu. I'll write B I N U. B I N U. Binu. T R A D E R S. Traders. A slash C account. Rest is OK. Accept. Yes. Accept it. So now Binu has become Binu Traders. Also, Ramu Kakas, there should be a space. So I want it to have space. R A M U Ramu Kaka. T R A D E R S traders L T D. Other things are all right. Yes, except so Ramu Kaka traders. Not traders or a capital account. It is my mistake. It's a capital account. So I'll R A M U Ramu K A K A Kaka C A P I T A L capital A slash C Ramu Kaka capital account. Accept? Yes. Accept. So, friends, this is how we create ledgers. We display them and we alter them. Let's go back and see. So, under Gateway of Tally, account, under Accounts Info Head, you find ledgers. Under ledgers, you find single ledgers. Under single ledgers, using the first create option, you will create ledgers. Then display option, you can check out what are the ledgers available or you have created already. And if there is any uh, you know, problem, you know, some mistake, you can always alter it. And under alter, you can uh, you get the chance, the possibility to edit the information. Even the groups under this uh, account, they can be changed unless you. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching this video, and uh, do tune for the next video that I'll create on how uh, accounting watches. We have seen master's account info we have done today and now next video we will see transactions accounting vouchers here i'll show you how to post vouchers or journal entries in the the those ledgers that we created today just now thank you so much for watching have a nice day